Hi right, YouTubers, this is Iceman back again for another video. I said I wasn't going to make another one tonight, but I think I'm going to. Um, let's see, I'm sure <laughs> my daughter and wife told me I should show my face on the video. I just don't want to scare everybody away. Nah, just joking. Um, I'm a, I might one of these days show myself on there, who knows. But anyhow, probably not. But anyhow, all right, I got some racing champions here I picked up the other day at a little, little secondhand store. And this is a 40 Ford Woody. It's a pretty sweet looking piece. I've already got these stains cut, so all I got to do is take them out. This is one of 6,000 limited edition, which, uh, I don't really care about being in the package. Um, I do enjoy these things being out of the packaging. They are a lot better looking out than in. Um, anyways, this, here it is out of the package. It's, it's pretty cool looking. It, it does have rubber wheels. It's got a plastic base, which that's all right. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it does have numbers on it, but I don't know really what that, I mean, I know it says limited to whatever. This is 661. There's a number on it. It's got a, a few decals on it. It looks pretty good. It's, uh, I think the hood raises. Yeah, it sure does. The hood does raise. And uh, let's see if we can't get it to, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, showing the video. Um, it does have a few details to the motor. It's kind of hard to do this, isn't it? <laughs> Anyhow, there we go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. They go good in my collection. And um, I've got a, a racing champion. It says Mint Edition. This is a, looks like a 57 Chevy. This thing is really nice. I like this one a lot. This, so I, I got them. I got pretty a pretty good deal on them. I got pay like two bucks a piece for them. To me, that's that's a fair price for something like this. Um, it's got a uh, little stand that goes with it, which I'll probably end up keeping it on the stand eventually. But uh, here's the the fifty seven. That looks, that looks pretty good. It's nice. Painted tail lights. It's got the, it's, this really does have a lot of detail on it. Yeah, it's got rubber tires. Plaxic base again, it looks like. Yeah. So that's okay though, I don't really care about that. It's got the old, what the engine would have looked like. And it's kind of hard to get this camera just right. But, uh, there we go. It's focusing now. Looks, I can say it looks pretty good. It's, it's pretty cool looking. Um, and here's a stand that it sets on. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys have seen this, but it does. It's a pretty cool stand. Put the car on there and see what it looks like with it on there. See, there it is right there. Not bad. Um, so I'm not for sure if I'm going to keep it on the stand yet or not. It's Who knows about me? It's one day to the next. I always change my mind, it seems like. Um, here is... Another racing champion. This is the Hot Rod Magazine series. This is a pickup truck. This is a. Let's see, 96 Dodge Ram pickup. It's, uh, I've never seen one of these yet. So I walked in that little store and found it for. These is two dollars a piece, just like the other ones. Um, it, this 
Yeah, this looks pretty good. Like I said, again, it's a plastic base, um, which that doesn't really concern me. It's it's the casting that I like, whether it's got a plastic base or a metal base, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a good looking truck. Kind of like the paint job on it. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, it does have rubber tires. Body is metal. Painted headlights. I like the mirrors on it. That's kind of cool looking. Um, kind of looks like Dumbo in a way. <laughs> big, big mirrors on it, but uh, I guess that's the way it's supposed to look. It's got Hot Rod Magazine on the tailgate. There you go. It's focused in. Painted tail lights. Bed cover on it. Let's see what the inside looks like. Let's see. It looks pretty good. Gray interior. You can see a little bit of detail in the interior. You know, the seats in her own. Okay. Now we got a... <coughs> This is uh, one of 19,997. This is a 40 Ford pickup in the Racing Champion Hot Rod Magazine series. Um, you know, let's just take it out of the package. Right? Since I'm having it in there, let's see. It's a good looking old truck. This is not 164 scale, it's a little bit bigger. But uh, it'll still go good in the collection. It's, yeah, I really like this old truck. It's The tailgate does drop. It drops down. That's pretty cool. Then it, again, it's got a plastic base, rubber wheels, metal body. Um, I really like the paint scheme on this. It's pretty cool. White wall tires. And they've done pretty good on this. Uh, this is like something you probably would see down the highway, running down the highway. Nowadays, even nowadays, I mean, I've seen a few nice ones here lately. But uh, there's the engine. It's kind of hard to get it to stay up here. But there's the engine. Get it to focus. Come on. Here we go. About as good as it's going to get. It looks like. Um, looks like it's got, yeah, white interior. Yeah, this is a sweet looking old truck right here. It rolls, rolls pretty good. Yeah, it does. Actually, all of them do so far. Um, mm, that one there is not so good, but that's all right. Uh, let's see. I found an M2 the other day, and it is a... Uh, 1959 VW Micro Deluxe model. Um, so, I mean, I uh, I don't really want these in the boxes like I've said before. I want to take them out. Uh, I might, I'll probably end up freeing this from the case too eventually. But uh, there it is. It's, I think. Uh, you know where they have the ones that uh, you put together They're like eight dollars in Walmart and I think I passed up on a uh, on a uh, raw chase piece I don't know if I did or not the top half was looked like raw I mean it was a gray looking color and the bottom half had a, a design on it which I don't know if if that was a chase piece or not if it was then somebody got lucky and uh, I just messed up, which, you know, eventually I'll probably find one. It would have been nice if that's if I knew that's what it was and I had it in my collection. But uh, that's all right, because I really like the M2 castings. They are pretty sweet looking. And so is the green lights and, and the Johnny Lightnings are nice too. I've got a few of the older ones. Not very many. Years ago I had a bunch of them and... Like an idiot, I got rid of them, but, you know, I mean, you thin out your collection and thinking it's the right thing to do, and sometimes it isn't. But, you know, I mean, that's 
just something you got to deal with, you know. And uh, anyhow, I've been looking for this little thing, and I got lucky and found it. The Honda uh, Monkey Z50. That's a cool little bike, man. I mean, I didn't think I was going to be able to find one. So I walked into Walmart, and lo and behold, there it was. So we're going to crack this little booger open. Whoop! Sorry, guys. My phone fell down. It's say this is hard to do when you got one hand here, but you guys do it, so I know I can. But um, throw my trash away. I like watching the pooch man when he opens something. He just whoosh, stuff everywhere. And then there's another gentleman. Uh, just remember his name, uh, James Shear. Uh, I've been watching a lot of his videos as well. And uh, he he does a lot of cracking on his. And, I mean, I, I really enjoy watching all you guys, man. I mean, you guys, like I said earlier, you guys can tell you, you're true into the passion of it. It's, you definitely got to understand this, what it really means to people. Uh, some people look at them like they're just, which they are toys. But um, to us collectors, they're a lot more than that, you know. Uh that's a good looking little bike right there. I got two of them. So if anybody's looking for one, hit me up. It's for trade. It's on a good card. Uh, there's no soft corners that I can tell. It doesn't look like it at all. It looks pretty good. Um, I put it in the car keeper for now until I find somebody that wants it. But uh, I say hit me up. I'll have it extra. And uh, <clears throat> you guys have seen all these, but to, to me, most of these are new because I don't get out too much. Here's a Lamborghini. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't do much with Lamborghinis, but um, some of them are, are kind of cool looking. Uh, let me focus it in there. There we go. And uh, this casting is a lot better looking than what I thought it was going to be. This is one of my daughter's uh, dream cars. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't blame her. I mean, hey, you gotta, you gotta have dreams, you know. But uh, we're gonna crack this thing open too. Get it free from its little cage. And uh, display it like it should be displayed. So, let's see. Here we go. Guys, sorry for setting the phone down and picking it up, but so I'm not real skilled at it yet, doing it by one hand. I will, though, eventually. Or get me to try something to set my phone on. But uh, this thing's got some cool, pretty cool um, stuff on it. It's got painted headlights. It's got the logo on the front, Lamborghini logo. That's pretty cool. I like the black on the blue. That's That looks pretty good. Does. Um, I'm not a big fan of the tires, but it does it does suit this car pretty good, though. It makes it look good. Um, I might pick up an extra one one of these days and uh, put some rubber tires on it, or maybe Matchbox tires, which I love the Matchbox wheels. Those, those are nice. But I uh, kind of wish they would have uh, detailed the taillights, but that's something I could do myself. I mean, it's no big deal. But uh, this casting does look pretty cool, actually. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. I think this is the first Lamborghini I've got. <laughs> I mean, that I've kept. But uh, I might start collecting some of them. Okay, let's see. Now we got the 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor. I've got this in the, in, uh, the blue, which is here. I've already got it freed. So I figured, well, hey, why not go ahead and get the, the twin to it, its brother, and then take it out of the package. You know, let him join. Let him join the Hot Wheel family here. Anyhow, here it is out of the package. This, I like this casting a lot. I really do. I, I mean, it's... So I'm not big on some of the um, 
decals, but this truck here, it looks pretty good with them on there. Uh, I got I got one I took out and took apart and customized it. Can't think I don't even remember what color I painted it now, but um, it'd be great to see the the headlights and all that stuff detailed out, which I'll I'll uh, probably end up doing that myself. And uh, it's got the the Ford on it. That's that's kind of cool looking there. I mean, they detailed that out. They done that, but you think they would have painted the tail lights? They did on the the other one. Oh well, it's all right though. If I had something I could do myself. Um, here's another Hot Wheel. This that Astral Astro Martin. I probably said it wrong, guys. If I did, I'm sorry. But it's the, get my camera focused here. It is the 1950, no, 1963 D85. It's from Skyfall, 007. I've got a few of these cars. I don't have very many. Um, I should have picked more up, you know, in the past. But, you know, that's, it's all right. I mean, if I ever run across them on a vendor's table at a show or something, I might pick them up. I just don't want to pay a fortune for some of them. And that, that's a cool little casting too right there. That's pretty sweet. Now this one here, they really detailed it out. I mean, the tail lights. I like the, I like the rims on it, the tires. That's pretty cool for this casting. It goes good with it. And the headlights, you know, they've done a, a good job on this one for being a, a dollar car. That's, that looks pretty good. It's pretty good. It's got a little smudge on the top, but it's all good. No biggie. And uh, let's see. I got a couple more Hot Wheels, and I'm going to have a few Matchbox to open up. Anyhow, make this quick. This is the 76 Greenwood Corvette. Uh, I took a, uh, I think I took a black one and stripped it and then painted it blue. Uh, that's the one I showed earlier in my other video. You see, to me, that looks better blue with no decals on it at all. I like it that way. Um, I think it looks a lot better, but I'm biased. So, but I, I do like it uh, painted just whatever you know, just whatever color you like, and then but do away with all the decals. It's okay though. Um, I will pop this open and uh, I'll put it with my other one that I've got. Um, I don't like the super in this. Uh, I'll probably never really worry about getting it unless I can get it for next to nothing. I mean, I'm not trying to be a cheapskate, but some castings I just don't care for. Uh, I mean, I like just the common ones in this for some reason, because I think because of the collars. But uh, e even with the decals on it, it still looks pretty good. You know, I mean, I wouldn't put them on mine that I'd done, but I am going to make that my treasure hunt version, what I think it should look like. And when I get it done, I'll show everybody. Um, it's a plastic base. You know, I mean, I'm not a real fan of the wheels on it, the red rims. To me, it kind of throws it off, but I mean, it's all right. I'll keep it this one the way it is. And it, I've got another one I'm going to take out, and I'm going to uh, put different tires on it different rims and probably be matchbox wheels or something that, that's not bad looking casting though uh, let's see and then I got another Star Trek car this is the Volkswagen T1 panel bus uh, I got this off a friend of mine here in town and uh, I got it for cost which I'm glad that he does that for me uh, I've got a bunch of different kind of vehicles like this. I think eventually I'm going to end up opening them all up. Most of them I got just one, which I don't really care if it's on the card or not. It just, you know, unless I get my building the way I want it, and then I might leave them on the card. But this one here I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, crack it open because I think it's going to look really nice. This will be the first one of this casting in the Hot Wheels that I have opened. So kind of excited about doing it and uh, I done the spot the other day a week ago and uh, I figured well you know it's they look better out so 
I may end up doing all of them that way. I don't know yet. Get this thing out. I mean, some of them are in there pretty good. Let's see. Come on. Okay. Here it is, guys. You guys have seen this, but I said I haven't seen it out of package yet. And it looks pretty sharp. It's even with the... Um, decals are ain't on it. I still like it. It it looks pretty good. It's uh it's got ST for Star Trek right there and that emblem right there. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, I love this casting because it's low to the ground. Rubber wheels, metal base, metal on metal, um, painted tail lights. See, and I like this because both sides are different. They're not the same. That's one of the reasons why I like this so much. Because, you know, if it's to turn, you can turn it and it look like you got a different one every time. Um, and the painted headlights, of course. You know, it looks pretty cool. Uh, looks like it may have gray interior. I can't really tell. Yeah, it is, I think. But anyhow, that looks, that casting looks pretty cool. I like that. Alright guys, I'm on 21 minutes. I gotta hurry up here. Alright, I got a, a couple of, uh, I got four matchbox. Here they are right here. Okay. Um, this is a Jeep Willys for the four. Um, I've already got this one loose. So I'm not going to pop this one yet because I'm going to end up customizing this one. But um, this truck here is the Toyota Tundrum. Uh, I've been wanting these three here ever since I've seen them out and I just never picked them up usually because they was gone but uh I'm gonna go ahead and get these things out real quick and get it over with anyhow here it is here I mean that's that's pretty cool casting lifeguard Yeah, like I said, I like Matchbox, man. They, they're doing a good job. I know Mattel owns them, but they, uh, the wheels are fantastic on some of these models. I really like the wheels a lot. Okay, let's get these other two cracked real quick here. This is the, the 2015 Ford F-150. And this is the construction series so we'll pop this thing out so i've been looking for this one since it come out and have been lucky to get it uh this is the first one of this casting i have and uh i mean it's got a lot of pretty decent details on it you know for just being a dollar car it looks pretty good and then again, I, like I said, I like the wheels on Matchbox. They are really sharp. Uh, they look good almost on any vehicle that you, you put them on, it seems like. I mean, I like the, some of the Hot Wheels, but not all of them. This one here is a construction series, and this is a, the 2015 Ford F-150. Same truck, but just different... Uh, construction on it. different decals <coughs> okay now here's this one here guys <coughs> like I say see it's casting yeah it's it's nice I like these a lot I'll probably end up picking all these up that I can find I don't care if they're the same ones or not I'll uh May end up keeping them customizing a few of them. All right, guys. Well, look, I'm already at 24 minutes, and I don't know how long we're allowed to do this. But um, like I say, just, uh, you know, you guys just have fun doing this. I know I do. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.